Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on dealing minus a negative number. Let's get started. 3 minus 3 is taken as 3 plus 3. So the question asks, why is that true? Well, that's a good question. Let's take a look at another example. If I have 3 minus 1 plus 2, you know it's 3 minus 3. This answer should be equal to 0. And the reason I wanted to use this example is to show you what happens with a negative sign with a parenthesis. And that, in turn, will explain why minus minus is a positive. So let's take a look at this one. When we have a minus sign in front of the parenthesis, we need to change the sign inside. Okay, otherwise, we're not going to get 0. Take a look. 3 minus 1 plus 2, that's going to be 4. That's not equal to 0 if I didn't change the signs inside the parenthesis. Okay. Now, having understood this part, then this becomes pretty easy. Here's what we're going to do. We have a 3 minus, what's minus 3? It's really 0 minus 3. Okay. And then it's 3 minus 0. Now, remember we said earlier, when you have a minus in front of parenthesis, you do have to change the sign inside. That becomes 3. And guess what? We have a 3 plus 3 as if 3 minus minus 3, when you combine those two, you make a plus sign. So it becomes 3 plus 3. The answer is 6, much like what you got over on this side. Well, that's how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. Please let me know if you liked it, or leave a comment on YouTube and let me know if it helped you. Till next time, have a confident day.